Hello, lovely viewers. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of Russian culinary traditions. We often hear about popular dishes like borscht and pelmeni, but there's one hidden gem that deserves our attention. Russian Kulik. Join me as we uncover the unknown facts surrounding this delectable Easter treat. Introduction to Kulik. First things first, what exactly is Kulik? Well, it's a traditional Russian Easter bread, rich in flavor and loaded with symbolism. The preparation of Kulik is a cherished tradition that brings families together during the Easter season. The symbolism behind Kulik. Now, let's talk symbolism. Kulik is not just a tasty treat. It's laden with cultural significance. The cylindrical shape of Kulik symbolizes the church, and the sweet icing represents the purity and glory of the resurrection. But did you know that the decorations on top of the Kulik have hidden meanings too? Each topping, whether it's powdered sugar, candied fruits, or nuts, holds a special meaning. For example, the powdered sugar may represent the purity of Christ. While the candied fruits could symbolize the sweetness of life and resurrection, it's a beautiful way to infuse spirituality into a delicious Easter treat. The secret ingredient. Now, here's a fun fact that not many people know. The secret ingredient that gives Russian Kulik its distinct flavor. Drum roll, please. It's the addition of a special spice called cardamom. This aromatic spice adds a unique depth to the bread, making each bite a delightful experience. Can you imagine Easter without that hint of cardamom? Regional variations. Just like any traditional dish, Kulik comes in various regional variations. Different families have their own secret recipes and unique twists on this classic treat. Some regions may add raisins and candied fruits, while others might incorporate nuts and spices. It's a testament to the diversity and richness of Russian culinary heritage. Kulik Preparation Rituals Now, let's delve into the fascinating rituals that accompany the preparation of Kulik. It's not just about mixing ingredients and baking. There's a spiritual aspect to the process. Families often gather to prepare Kulik together, sharing stories and laughter. Some even incorporate prayers into the baking, turning it into a sacred family tradition that goes beyond the kitchen. Historical significance. Did you know that the history of Kulik dates back centuries? Its origins can be traced to the Orthodox Christian Church, where it became a staple during Easter celebrations. Over time, the recipe evolved, and the tradition of gifting Kulik to friends and family members during Easter became widespread. It's not just a delicious treat, it's a piece of living history on your plate. Kulik in modern culture, in today's fast-paced world, traditions like baking Kulik have adapted to modern life. Many bakeries now offer pre-made Kulik for those with a busy schedule or for those who want to experience this delightful tradition without the hassle of baking. It's a beautiful blend of preserving heritage while accommodating contemporary lifestyles. International Influence While Kulik is deeply rooted in Russian culture, its influence has spread internationally. In some places, you'll find variations of this Easter bread being prepared with a local twist. Whether it's a fusion of flavors or a creative reinterpretation, the essence of Kulik has transcended borders, becoming a symbol of unity and shared celebrations. Kulik Festivals In certain regions of Russia, there are dedicated Kulik festivals that take place during the Easter season. These festivals are vibrant celebrations featuring competitions for the best homemade Kulik, with judges evaluating not only the taste and texture but also the creativity and decoration. It's a festive atmosphere where communities come together to showcase their baking skills and share the joy of Easter. Kulik as a gift of good luck. Beyond its delicious taste, Kulik is often seen as a symbol of good luck. It is customary to give Kulik as a gift during Easter, expressing well wishes and blessings for the recipient. The act of sharing Kulik is believed to bring prosperity and happiness to both the giver and the receiver, creating a heartwarming tradition that extends beyond the kitchen. D. Kulik Decorations For those who love a hands-on approach, the decoration of Kulik can be a DIY adventure. Families and friends gather to create their unique designs using colorful icings, edible flowers, and other creative embellishments. It's a chance to express individuality and make each Kulik a work of art. Who knew that baking could be such a fun and artistic endeavor? And there you have it, 
The Unknown Facts of Russian Kulik From its deep symbolism to the secret ingredient that elevates its flavor, this Easter bread is truly a culinary masterpiece. I hope you enjoyed this journey into the heart of Russian traditions. If you have any unique Kulik stories or family recipes, feel free to share them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more cultural explorations. Until next time, happy cooking and happy Easter!